Hello there, welcome to Easy English. Today we're going to be learning about shops and shopping. We'll learn the vocabulary about different types of shops and where, which shop you can buy your things in. We'll also learn about places around town and the city. So, first of all, let's have a look at some basic vocabulary for shopping. A shop is where you go to buy whatever you're looking for. A plant, some food, some bread. A customer is you, the person who goes to buy something. Um, coins, cash and notes are what you use to pay with. And a sales assistant is the person at the shop who will help you find your product. Here in the image on the screen, you can see um, some vocabulary also. Expensive means it costs a lot of money, more than what you were planning to spend. And cheap means it's a good thing. It doesn't cost a lot of money. To cost is the price you need to pay for what you're buying. Free means it's zero pounds or zero dollars. It doesn't cost anything. But this is not very normal when you go shopping. The cashier is the person who takes your money when you're going to pay and usually you pay at the checkout. Here are some places from about town you can see in this picture. This is how you will learn the names of all the different places that are in your town or city. On the top right you can see an apartment house. This is where families or people live. In the Below the apartment block you will see a park, this is where people go to play and below the park you will see a hospital, this is where sick people or people who have been in an accident go. There is also a post, post office which is where you go to send your letters, a gas station is where you fill your car with um, petrol, a library is where you go to read books but not buy them and left we can see a department store. And a department store sells all kinds of products like clothes, furniture, home interior and everything. A supermarket usually also sells a lot of items but it typically does not sell furniture. Maybe some clothes, some food etc. A pharmacy, a chemist or a drugstore is where you go to buy drugs. For example an aspirin for a headache or... Whatever the doctor has told you to buy, you can find this. Um, the green grocer is where you go for fresh fruit and vegetables. A florist has fresh plants and flowers, which you can buy for yourself or as a gift. An antique shop has second-hand items that have been used before and bought before. A convenience store is a small shop that s sells food, magazines and cleaning products and it's situated in a residential area. Some other shops are a petition where you buy glasses to read, to see, a toy shop to buy toys, a charity shop to buy second-hand items and a jeweler to buy jewellery. Here is an activity I've downloaded and we're going to do together. So it says, let's shop. You are shopping in a commercial street. Here is your to-do list. What can you do in this street? What can't you do? You need to post a letter. Where do you go? If you remember, you'd post your letter in a post office. Can you see a post office in this image? Here it is. Well spotted. Next thing we need to buy is breads and muffins. Do you remember the name of the shop where you buy bread? It's obviously this shop here, well spotted pupils and it's called a bakery. A bakery sells baked food items. It could be sweet or savoury items. Bread is a savoury item and for example a cake or a bun which you could find at a bakery is a sweet item. Vegetables and fruits. Where could you find vegetables and fruits? Aha! Uh -huh. Well spotted here on the top right corner. And what is the name of the shop? It's a green grocer selling fresh fruit and vegetables. New shoes. Where can we buy new shoes? Let's have a look. Where can we buy new shoes? You know what? I can't see 
I can't see a department store. I can't see a supermarket and I can't see a clothes store or a shoe shop. So we can't buy shoes. Here it says I can't buy shoes because there isn't any shoe shop. Change money. We'd look for a bank to change money. I think there is a bank in the bottom left corner here. Well spotted. Or a change bureau. There's a change bureau and that's where you can go to change money. Fish fingers. So we need a fish shop. Can we see a fish shop or a fishmongers? There's a fishmongers here. Well spotted. Food for the puppy. So we'd need an animal store. Here's the animal store. Eardrops. A football. Dictionary. T-shirt. Three steaks. Let's start with the eardrops. We'd need a pharmacy or a chemist. I can't see a pharmacy or a chemist, so I think I can't buy eardrops because there isn't a pharmacy or a chemist. A football. There's a sports shop here. So there we would go to buy a football. A dictionary. The bookshop. A t-shirt. There isn't a clothes store so we can't buy a t-shirt and three steaks from the butchers a butcher only sells meat and eggs normally so there's the butcher and that's the end of this video so thanks for watching we hope you've learned all the vocabulary about types of shops and where you can buy things and all the places in town so don't forget to like this video oops and subscribe and we'll see you next time at Easy English. Goodbye.